What's up everyone? Welcome back to People of the Past. Today I'm out here at Bonds, Mississippi at Bonds Cemetery looking for the grave of one Dizzy Dean. Dizzy Dean um, was a baseball player, um, played for the St. Louis Cardinals, Chicago Cubs, and then later as a broadcaster for the St. Louis Browns. Um, Dean was born January 16th, 1910, and unfortunately passed away on July 17th, 1974. Um, he, like I said, he played for the Cardinals, the Cubs, and he was a commentator for the Browns. He debuted and he made his major league debut in 1930 with the St. Louis Cardinals. And then he finished up with the Cubs. He had a win-loss record of 150 wins to 83 losses, with a 3.2 bat, I mean, bat strike, um, earn run average, and strikeouts was 1,163. Four-time All-Star. Um, World Series champion with the Cardinals in 34. Also in 34, he won the National League MVP. Um, he was um, he was born in Lucas, Arkansas, and he only made it through to the second grade. But in 1920, he started pitching while he was in the Army for at Fort Sam Houston. He was 19 years old at the time. And he was playing against, start, started playing, pitching against the um, Chicago White Sox. And it, the story says that he was striking them out, the White Sox out and everything. So the coach, the manager of the team got there and was like, hey, you know, knock that Dizzy kid out of the box. And so that's how he got his name Dizzy. Um, he just, the, the coach kept referring to him as Dizzy, the Dizzy Kid. And so that's that's how he got his name. Now, he also played with his brother. His brother um, was al um, also a pitcher. And he also played on the same Cardinals team back in 34. Um, his name was Dizzy, but a lot of people called his brother Daffy. But his, da um, his name was actually Paul. I'm sorry, it just rained, so I'm trying not to get wet. Now the sun's out, so it's hot. But, <clears throat> so he was much like, at the time, he was much like Muhammad Ali, Joe Namath type figure. Now, he's very outspoken. Um, he actually said that him and his brother was going to win 45 games. Um, and then <laughs> on... Um, Dece on December um, 21st, um, Dean pitched a no-hit ball against the Brooklyn Dodgers up until about the eighth inning. He wound up winning the game but gave up three hits. His brother pitched later on that night and pitched a no-hitter against the Dodgers. And he said, hey, look, if we were, um, if I knew he was going to pitch, pitch one like that, I'd I'd pitch a no-hitter as well. Well, that that evening, they went on to win. He went on to win, I think it was like 29 games that season, and his brother went on to win. No, he went, you know, he went, um, his brother won 19 games that season. He finished with 30 games, which gave him 49, and he did say that they're going to win 45. It was just things like that that he would, he would say he um, he 
when he became a broadcaster for the St. Louis Browns, he said he could probably pitch better than anybody on that team, at least nine out of ten players on that team. So the the owner of the Browns said, okay, let's put your money where your mouth is. And so they got him down out of the out of the um, got him down from the booth and he went down there and sure enough he struck out the side when he came up to bat he hit the ball rounding first he pulled his hamstring he said that's it he says I'm going I'm going back up top to, to broadcast my playing days are over and so um, but he did do it as he said he did he was going to he he played, you know, he he was a he was a pitcher that um said you know said what he did. On um on May the fifth, nineteen thirty seven, he bet um Vince DiMaggio f that he can strike him out four times in that game. Well he struck him out third three times and when he came up the fourth time he popped the ball up behind him. Dizzy was heard yelling at the hind catcher, let it go, let it go. So he dropped it. And the next next um, next pitch, he struck him out to win the bet. So he struck him out four times. And um, he was, I mean, like I said, he died not in, in 74. I sure wish I could have. I could have, you know, came, was around then just to watch him and everything. But um, here he is here. So after retiring uh, for baseball, him and his wife moved back to Bond, Mississippi. He, um, but he died. There he is there. He died in um, Reno, Nevada, of a heart attack. And brought back with his wife. There's his wife. And it says his um, wife's mate. Um, that's his wife there. And then here's a. Dizzy Dean, a friend to many, one of baseball's greatest, inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, 1953. And there you have it. Guys, I'm fixing to get back on the road, head back home. I appreciate you tuning into the people of the past. Remember to like, share, comment, and um, look forward to seeing you again.